What is going on everybody? I am super disappointed with these products and I'm gonna let you know about it. So I was looking to do my kingpin base here and on his base he just happens to have a little pool or a little break in the concrete and my idea was maybe it is some still standing water like sometimes you see in a gutter or whatever and I wanted to make it look like grease or oil needless to say I ended up using this uh, water texture plus some brown ink I think burnt umber but what I wanted to use was some of these I have oil stains this is Vallejo engines uh, weathering line I have petrol spills I have fuel stains and I have diesel stains I actually like these two this one's kind of almost like a gloss really transparent reddish color this one's kind of orange I liked them when I got them this one's like a you know a gray black and this one's kind of a dark brown um honestly I think they were pretty good when I bought them I used them on some Admix stuff used them occasionally on weathering but they're basically all still full they cost about four dollars and forty cents a piece now when I come to try and use them on my base here for Kingpin and I'm gonna move him out of the way because he's completed I find out that all of these have basically dried from here down now you can tell the lids go on super nice there's no reason why they should be drying out but all four of these are basically clear liquid and gunk just settled and dried at the bottom now I'm not gonna throw them away just yet so hopefully somebody can tell me how to fix this in the comments because I'd much rather keep them than just have to throw them away because four bottles at five bucks a pop that's twenty dollars down the drain but let me show you what I mean here so this is the fuel stain. I've probably used it once in my life. I'm going to show you. You can see how clear it is. I'm going to pour off the liquid. And look at that. What a blob of gunk. So this is the liquid now. And all the pigment has turned in to goo at the bottom of my paint pot here so let me just see if I can scoop that up look at that I mean it's it's like peanut butter yeah pretty disappointing because you can tell they're barely used they're almost never opened like if maybe I used them frequently they would have been opened and exposed to air Maybe I was supposed to shake them every week. I don't know. I shouldn't have to, I don't think, if they've never been opened. Oh, let me go ahead and pour my clear liquid back in. Look at that. Let's try another one. So hopefully there's a way to mix them back up, but so far I have not had any success. Let's see what's going on with diesel stain. I think this was the first one I bought and I liked it and then that's why I bought the other three. Oh yeah, that looks good. Completely orangish milk and a solid block. I mean, it's like thicker than peanut butter down there. And that's what I'm dealing with here. So let me know if you got a way you like to make these come back to life. Maybe a scale modeler out there can give me some tips I can't imagine as popular as these products are that everybody just lets them go bad and throws them away look at that it's like solid gray paint at the bottom look how much liquid is pouring off this I mean it's not acceptable <laughs> I don't get it and we'll go ahead and show you the last one just so you know I'm not being a hater and lying this is oil stains here we go let's see what happens And there we go. More just gunked up pigment or whatever at the bottom. 
So, Vallejo, I do like a lot of your products. I love many of them, actually. I use a lot of them. I don't understand why these did this. They're not opened, basically, ever. So I don't know why they would dry at the bottom like that. It seems like a faulty product. There you go. My recommendation is do not buy these at all. Oil stains, fuel stains, petrol spills, and diesel stains. One exception, if you are buying these, do it, maybe just buy one for a specific project. So I'm pretty sure when I bought diesel stains, I was using it on my Admech Army, so I was actually using it then. And I think because I liked it, I bought these other ones. And I'm pretty sure I used fuel stains too, because it has a little bit more of a red tone. I couldn't even tell you what I ever used oil or petrol spills on. I'm not even sure I ever used this one. <laughs> But there you have it. Just a little disappointing review of the Vallejo engine acrylic set. Uh, disappointing. So there you go. Hopefully you still steer clear of purchasing those. Unless you just need them for a specific project and plan on using quite a bit of it. Honestly, the price tag at $440 or whatever they say. Not bad, actually. I mean, 5 bucks is somehow this large bottle is cheaper than these little GW ones. But... We all know we're getting uh, upcharged there. So yeah, let me know if you're experienced with these. Maybe, see, I know I didn't get a bad batch because these are four different colors and bought at different times. Now they were all bought at the same store, but I don't remember any of them doing this previously until I just tried to use them the other day. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully I saved you 20 bucks so you don't have to buy these. And... I'll see you in the next one. Please comment down below. Let me know if I can save them. And please subscribe. We'll be doing more fun, happy, uplifting, wonderful videos in the future that don't involve dried up fuel stains. Adios.